So hello, how are you? This is UG Mix, and uh, today I wanna let you know how you how we installed the Windows 11 or unsupported AMD laptop, and this is HP Pavilion 15. And uh, let me show you. So this is from is actually this laptop is working absolutely fine on Windows 11 without any problems, and this is the latest build. As you can see, the Windows Copilot preview there, uh, AMD A12 9720P with Radeon 7 graphics. Actually, this particular machine have two GPUs. The one is AMD R7, and the other one is we are using right now. The uh, the one is AMD. Here you can see M340. Here you can see this is the number, uh, this is the dedicated graphic card M340, and this is the R7 graphics. And the processor is AMD A12-9720P. So we just implement the guide we did in our blog post. Uh, you can have a link in description so you can also install this build and any Windows 11 build on AMD A12 processors and it is working absolutely fine without any problems it is working everything is working drivers are working it's a Windows 11 on Gen 1 and uh, your laptop ha should have the key so this will automatically activate it just download the ISO and step and uh, all the steps that are given in blog post just follow them and you are good to go and everything is running fine in this even copilot is working absolutely fine um, everything is working fine so you can enjoy Windows 11 are unsupported AMDs. Uh, make sure you have better RAM. That's it. 8 GB and uh, 16 gigs should be enough. So that's it. And never install the graphics from AMD website. So this will crash the system, of course. And by the way, the infrared camera is also working. Windows Hello is working. And uh, this system have two cameras one for the what I show you <laughs> so this is to have a two dedicated cameras one for IR and the other one is for simple conference calls and all that things here you can see IR camera and wide vision FHD camera all are working absolutely fine just install the updates, Windows updates, and all the drivers. So, if you encounter any problems regarding drivers, then just put Windows update and uh, check for updates, or just go to advanced options, optional updates, and they should you should have your drivers.